Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on another walk today on my quest for England. It's been raining. We've had rain for a change. So I thought I'd go on a little rainy walk, although it's actually now stopped, uh, stopped the rain. So I'm going to get out of my car and I've parked up uh, just at the uh, south end of Finden. Let's get out. And behind me here, we've got the, the Black Horse Pub. Just lock the car, of course. And I found a little walk that takes me up onto the downs, which I'm quite keen to have a little go at. And so I'm going to cross the A24, which is the main uh, London to um, Worthing Road. There's a gentleman on his bike there, and we're going up by Rogers Farm, as you can see. Fortunately, the road is very quiet, and I'm pleased about that. This is a public bridleway that I've never actually been up, but it takes me up onto the top of the downs. And when I get up onto the top of the downs, um, I don't actually know what the, the views are going to be like, but um, it's a pathway that I know quite well, but I would normally approach it from, uh, not Durrington, west, um, uh, from Salvington, sort of looking that way. So this is uh, going to be an interesting little stroll. Because we've had rain, I think there's going to be a, a nice swelling, if swelling is the right word, of all the plants, like these little things here. And of course, we've got some bluebells down here, look. Now this lane, should take me up onto a more narrow path but just before we do let's have a look at farmers have been plowing their fields and you can smell the earth you can smell the uh, the green the flowers the blossom in with the um, in with the rain I absolutely love it and one shouldn't be frightened about going out in the rain or when it's wet. Obviously, prepare yourself with all the, the different wet water gear that you can buy. Um, we've barely got anything, which is good for me because water goes on the lens. And I'm not very keen on that. So I'm gonna carry on up here and we'll see how far we get. Buried in a bush is the public bridle way sign and I think we're going to be heading up that way but let's just have a look across to Sisbury Ring. We've got a great view here across this field, across the valley up to Sisbury Ring where I was the other day. I have to say it was a much sunnier day then. Uh, the sunrise and, and all of that, the videos up there, it was, it was uh, just a glorious morning to get up. South Lodge Cottage up this unmetalled road so this will take us into the uh, into the more countrified part of these lanes going past all this lovely cow parsley which I can smell very much some people are very very lucky there's a couple of houses just back here that right on the edge of this downland rise and they're so lucky to live here. They can just get out and stroll up these old pathways without having to get in the car. How beautiful is that and lucky. It is a tad slippery on the, uh, on the chalk after the rain. I just want to be careful. I don't fall over. I've got a, a small portable camera in my pocket so I can take little stills every now and again and, put them in as appropriate in the edit. If you look above me, the canopy is completely covering me. If I stroll on a bit, you'll see how absolutely delightful it is. Come through all this greenery, wet 
and glistening with the amazing chirping of the birds around us. And on this side, views down into the valley that goes south towards Worthing. And on here, just because I'm a nosy person, somebody's property, presumably, because it's this wall in front of me, and then beyond, just the vague hint of bluebells. One nice thing about coming out when the weather is a bit inclement is you're less likely to see as many people. Now, of course, at the moment, it's quite an unusual time because of the, the lockdown and COVID, yet people obviously are making more of the fact that they can go out for their exercise. And actually, it's quite surprisingly how many people you do see. So coming out when the weather is a little inclement and, you know, a bit chilly, I think it's quite nice because you get more of this nature to yourself. Different types of stone on the ground here. Quite dark black stone, I don't know what that is. This is so, so invigorating and so important. And then, and then you get someone who ruins it all. Look at this. Man-made folly left up there. Hawthorn, the blossom of Hawthorn. We're coming into May. It's the uh, end of uh, April as I film. And it's now the time when the Hawthorn starts coming out into blossom. Early in the year, uh, if you've been following me, you would have heard me talk about the, um, the blackthorn. Uh, you know, the plant that you get, uh, or the shrub that you get, uh, or the tree even, that you get uh, sloes from. This is now Hawthorn. And it's a very delicate petal that you get the blossom very delicate and it's sort of peppered with the the little um i don't know if they're called the stamens or whatever they are on the inside and no doubt the bees will be out here and thriving on them it's absolutely beautiful hawthorn often called may because that's the month that it becomes incredibly abundant and it sprinkles over the uh, the hedgerows like snow it's just absolutely gorgeous Another thing that we're starting to see is the elder trees coming into blossom as well. And soon, of course, it'll make elderberries, which you can make various cordials or wine from, of course. Elder is a fantastic uh, uh, tree, and it tends to have these, these leaves here, like five leaves in, in uh, oh, I didn't mean to take quite so much off. Um, in a, an arrangement a bit like this. Sometimes it's quite tricky to, uh, um, in the winter, know that it's elder, although it seems to me that the bark is quite distinctive on, on the way that the trunk runs. If you look at this sort of weird um, arrangement of lots of branches stemming all over the place. And like Hawthorn, uh, which is next to that one, uh, they very much are a hedgerow plant. And then again, they become festooned in this wonderful white, which is, which is again, very beautiful. And here, I've just spotted, if you look down here, these em enormous leaves from a sycamore that is trying to, to grow. I've never seen sycamore leaves quite so vast. They are massive leaves. I don't know how well you can see that, but here, there's a fence actually, I can't go in, but there's a, a whole load of bluebells up here. 
I've just found a way in that's not restricted by the looks of things and you you can see well-worn paths here through more of the bluebells which are beginning to look slightly sorry for themselves don't want to crush them but you can see where people have been walking and and taking it all in and on a bright sunny day of course this would be so much nicer just walking where other people have obviously come to try and see the bluebells but not just the bluebells here I think we've got Campion as well in amongst all this and some rather amazing trees all the way through here it's just gorgeous you would mistake this for a London plain because of the bark but it isn't now if I pull back over here We've got an interesting area just off the path, a little indentation, and in it some quite remarkable um, bricks, concrete blocks from something, all scattered about here, tumbled down. Evidence of something, concrete. I don't know whether this is a, a military post, an observation post that was once here. Um, there were pillboxes around so it could have been up here um, and farmers were actually paid to get shot of them after the war so maybe this is the result of that I'm just clambering up see if I can get a better view but these are obviously great circular chunks of something maybe a machine gun post or something because it's high up so you could fire at um, planes as they went over during the war I don't know few bricks and, and things but looking back into the woods which as long as none of this gives way get back to it terrific view of the bluebells right kind of got onto the top now and coming out into the open and it is beginning to rain a bit more my walk really it was just up this through this woodland walk and um, it's a little bit exposed here let's have a look what we can see if anything we've got a farm here some fields and trees we've got a valley down on the other side looking westwards in the mist and we join the path that I said I would normally approach from Salvington very close to Salvington Mill I have to do a walk up there actually sorry about the rain on the lens uh, we've got this fine spray here now and actually crossing this path which goes north south here we look down on Long Furlong which goes round that spit of land and in the distance you just make out the traffic there well I'm getting rained on here so I'm not going to hang about I'm going to go back down that route back to the car thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow like subscribe become a patron support what I do that would be absolutely fantastic slightly getting wet should have put my wet weather gear on and my hat and behind me now a tractor to watch as we finish the episode take care and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.